I have a mystery box. It's a um, box of stuff that apparently belonged to an artist friend of mine who passed away back in uh, 2000. It was 2000. It was it 1999? Can't remember exactly the year, but uh, this is uh, July 25th. 2020, so it was approximately 20 years ago he passed away, and um, this box was in the possession of a friend of mine for many years, and uh, who, I don't know, uh, had some kind of um, falling out with me and other people in Santa Fe. I don't really know uh, what the source of his, you know, trouble was, but apparently uh, he just suddenly stopped answering calls from some of us and kind of um, distanced himself from us. So uh, a few weeks later, this box came in the mail uh, to my business address, and uh, it's I, I assume it's full of artwork, or it must contain artwork that my deceased friend has. Uh, left behind. So I'm going to open the box right now and look inside it and let's find out what's in the mystery box together. As you can see, this box has been outside, stored outside. Uh, and has not been opened in a very long time. So it'll be interesting. We'll learn together what is in here. I haven't brought it into my house because I was afraid there might be insects or, you know, creepy crawlies that I don't want in my house. So. I'm really amazed to see this. Uh, this uh, was probably the last painting my friend did before he passed away. And um, it might be one of my very favorite pieces of his work. Um, and I'm really surprised that my friend sent this because I know my friend paid money, paid John for this painting before John passed away. And so he must have uh, valued it. And um, it's strange that he would have sent it to us in the mail. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, this is just cardboard. some fabric. Uh, it's nice looking fabric, <laughs> but probably just packing material. Let's see what's here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a spider. Daddy long leg. Oh, run away, run away, little spider. Okay, wow. We have a beautiful landscape here, and it's beautifully framed. I have uh, a couple of landscapes that John did or did, but uh, most of the work that he left at my house before he passed away, a lot of it got lost or stolen or damaged just because I. I couldn't take care of it. I was basically, you know, living out of my car for a lot of the time, so I couldn't uh, give it the care it needed. Uh, but John's landscapes, I think, are really beautiful. And these ones he did just before his death uh, show a sophistication um, that you might not see in some of his earlier work. 
This is really beautiful. I'm amazed that John sent this stuff to me, uh, to us. I'm, I'm surprised. I wonder what's up. I worry about him that maybe he, uh, you know, I think he suffers a little from depression and anxiety. And, oh my goodness, look at this. Another really fabulous landscape by John Jordan. And uh, I was so sad when John passed away. He had been my roommate for a while um, and then uh, moved out to Pecos uh, up on Real Mesa. He was living up there just before he died uh, with this woman he met. And um, he was a really dear friend of mine. He, you know, was kind of a father figure to me. He was. Um, considerably older than me. He, the way I met him was he dated my mom uh, when I was about 10 or so. And uh, I admired him a great deal. He was a mentor and, uh, and just a, a good friend. Here. These are just loose canvases, or this is a loose canvas folded. Wow. Oh my gosh. Really an amazing and incredible piece of artwork. Uh, and this is this is the sad, kind of a sad story that you know John's work was really unique and beautiful and um, he didn't get a lot of recognition you know most artists don't he didn't sell a lot of paintings and uh, so after he died a lot of his paintings um, you know just have fallen into disrepair or been improperly stored for or lost or stolen and um, this piece, you know, should be framed and stretched. This canvas should, uh, this kind of work that John did uh, is very unique. And, uh, and um, he, he always said that he painted what he saw. This has a date on it, it says 1989. I don't think I'd ever uh, I didn't realize he was doing these kind of paintings in the 80s. I thought he started kind of doing them at my house uh, in the early 90s. This that's got some rot, some mold there. Uh, the reason I don't like, or I didn't want to be responsible for his stuff is I don't have the ability to care uh, for it. I'm, you know, basically have narrowly avoided homelessness for a good portion of my life and I don't have the resources to curate uh, this kind of art the way it deserves to be curated. So, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm largely at a loss. There's another amazing painting by John Jordan. And I can't believe, again, that my friend, who had way better resources to care for this kind of artwork, he's actually rather wealthy, uh, why he didn't just keep it and take care of it, because by sending it to, to me and my business partner, I mean, we it's going to be really hard for us to take care of these. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. There's another, it's a rolled up piece of what looks like handmade paper with a gold leaf print. Really rather beautiful.
make some really fancy wrapping paper for somebody. 450 it says. <laughs> Okay, here's, let's look at this other rolled up thing here. What is this? Is this just, just storage fodder? Okay, put back, and there's a box, and the box appears to be empty. And there's a bunch of plastic baggies. And that's all that we have found in the mystery box. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please, uh, Feel free to like and subscribe and follow me along. I'm going to be posting more content like this. And, uh, you know, I, it's, I'm just trying to share about what it's like to live where I live in the time that I live. It's, pretty much documentary style video making um, but uh, I always need more subscribers and uh, it, it's great to it's amazing to me sometimes that people actually watch my content but um, glad that you find it interesting so you know if you've made it to the end of the video uh, we must be sharing something with each other. So like and subscribe, stick around, and I'll see you in the next video.